Welcome to Image Graphics video presentation on CADWORKS. Often we get requests from our clients, very specifically small and medium size process kit fabricators on how to import ProE or Inventor models into CADWORKS and use them as intelligent CADWORKS object. Obviously, the reason behind this request is for a physical clash check and to use the dimensionally accurate models supplied by the vendors. In this video presentation, we are going to show you the full process of importing a ProE or an inventor model into CADWORKS and assign intelligence to it and use them to generate other deliverables. ProE and Inventor have an export option to export uh, the 3D models into ACIS dot SAT models. These SAT models will be imported into AutoCAD and converted to CADWORKS intelligent object using user create. This video presentation will show you all the step-by-step -step procedure in importing a 3D model and then converting it to a CADWORKS intelligent model. We hope that this video is useful to all the CADWORKS users who wish to do this process. Thank you. In this video, we are going to show you how 3D models from ProE or Inventor can be imported into CADWORKS and used as intelligent CADWORKS objects. As a first step, I would like to insert the 3D model created from ProE using the SAT out. So I'm using inserting the SAT file into AutoCAD environment. Now that I have the model inserted, I would like to add some reference points on the, both the connection points. And let's review this from put another place another reference point at the center of this. Now that I have the 3D model ready, I would like to convert this into a CADWOX user shape using user create. Create a new file. I call it as val val 2 inch enter specification I would like to add it to the specification called A1A and the long description will, would be val val 2500 pound flanged RTJ Split body, full bore, ASTM A216 WCC. Make the component reducing? No. Weight would be 125 kilos. Nominal size would be 2 inch. And I use the option block choose 3d and the starting point for this one will be this node point and the ending point of this shape would be the other node point connection points would be the same nodal points node of this and node of this now I select this whole thing how the block has been created. The next step would be to add it to the specification. Go to the user shape, add user shape one. Select the data files which we have created. Val to each val. Now I check 
long description is as I have typed in. Uh, most important thing I would like to do here is that this valve should appear as an as a valve in the isometric. So I change the identifier as valve and it is VBFN. Now that the valve has been added to the specification, I can test this valve by adding it to a 3D model. Let's do a 2 meter long, 1.5 meter long pipe. Well, Nick flange added. followed by the user shape we have created and the next gasket Let me terminate this line with a flange and a blind flange. And I'll also add a T in the middle, straight T. middle of this pipe Let me add one more valve. Followed by a gasket. auto bolt select all five bolts have been added now I would like to test this by generating isometric drawing I use the isogen out Select the components. Let's have a look at the isometric drawing. You can see that it's been represented as a ball valve. You can see the pipe sizes. All well numbers been identified cut length 
pipe cut information and the bill of material as a clear ball ball 2000 pound whatever I have given as a long description comes here quantity 2 material code hope this video was useful to you